Once we get offers on your home, that is when the fun really begins. And it can be stressful if you don't receive the amount you were hoping for. But don't worry. That is why you hire a good negotiator like myself. Hi, I'm Mommy Lee Light with the Lee Light Real Estate Team with EXP Realty. I am a certified real estate negotiator expert. There are only 1% of agents across the nation who have this credential, which I find a little alarming because knowing how to properly negotiate on your behalf is essential not only to getting you the most amount of money on your home, but also on negotiating the best terms. So once we receive offers on your home, there are a few essential components that need to be done prior to meeting with you to discuss the offers. We vet all of the buyers by calling the agent and lender and making sure that the buyer is truly qualified. We verify funds, ask critical questions, and we find out how motivated they are and how in love with your property the buyer is, and so on. During this process, we also are getting to learn about the buyer's agent and lender to see just how much experience they have, if they've properly educated the buyer, and to get an idea as to how they are going to be to work with. Believe it or not, the buyer's agent is just as important to ensuring the deal will close as the buyer's qualification. After vetting the buyer, the realtor and lender, then we will Zoom with you to discuss the offer and review the terms. We will give you our advice on the offers in regards to the pros and cons of each, but ultimately, you make the decision as to which offer to take and what to counter. Now, if we have more than one offer, which is happening quite frequently, there's another process that we go through we give an offer deadline, we give an offer date, then we notify all of the offers and request them to give us the highest and best offer by that specific date and time. Once we have those, we Zoom with you to discuss which of these offers you would like to consider and or even counter. Generally, this gives us an opportunity to get a higher price from the buyer and better terms for you because we're picking from the cream of the crop, so to speak. At this time, the buyers can choose to either accept our terms or to counter us back. You have the opportunity to choose which offer you would like to take at this time. And again, we will advise you as to the pros and cons. Once we come to terms, we are now officially under contract or in escrow. Watch the next video to see and understand what happens next and what to expect regarding timelines and all those things. Understand that in most cases, if you're dealing with a loan, the average time frame to close on a home is about 30 to 45 days, give or take. And if you're dealing with cash, you can close in as little as three days, but seven to 10 days is more realistic. I'm Bonnie Lelak at the Lelak Real Estate Team with EXP Realty in Canton, Georgia. We love bringing people and homes together.